Um, so first of all, we use uh, memory tests to compare the treated versus non-treated. And the uh, Alzheimer's mice that are not on treatment, the control mice, have severe deficits in memory. And in this particular study, the mice were 24 months old uh, at, the, at the end of the study, which is very, very old for an Alzheimer's mouse. So the memory deficits were, were huge. What kind of things do you do to test their memory? Um, we have a couple of different tests um, that look at different kinds of memory. Um, spatial memory is one particular one, and we use um, a circular pool that has a platform in it, and it has cues around the, the rim, and the mice use the cues to find the platform. So, so you have to train find, them. find the hidden platform. Yeah, you train them. They use, okay. and you can, it's very obvious, you can see them go to the queue, and then they know what direction to go in to get to the platform, whereas the Alzheimer's mice might never figure out where the platform is. Um, so that's one particular test that you can do. And then after you, you give the drug to them, their ability to find the platform to use the cues improves? It improves significantly, yeah. And th this is just following three months of oral administration. So we were able to give J147 to the mice and their food. Okay, and could you talk about uh, this compound, either of you, uh, uh, J147, its properties and how it was discovered? You want to do it or do you want me to do it? You do this. <laughs> okay. So uh, it's been known for a long time that uh, people in India don't get very much Alzheimer's relative to what happens in the United States and the rest of the world. And so one of the, oh. one of the um, curiosities about the diet in India is they eat a lot of curry. And curry is a major spice, is turmeric. And, and a major component of turmeric is curcumin. And so curcumin has been around for a while. It's an FDA approved drug for cancer. And a friend of mine in um, yeah. Los Angeles, Greg Cole, found that if you give um, curcumin to this very similar mice to what uh, margarita has been using, they get a little bit better. The plaques tend to go away. And so the problem with curcumin, it's not a, a great drug in the sense it uh, gets degraded very rapidly. Its availability is quite low in the bloodstream in the brain. So we decided to make a better version of this, and so we did a lot of medicinal chemistry, and we have a series of compounds. Uh, one of them, uh, paper is just coming out uh, in a couple next month, and of the, sort of the precursor to this 147, and actually it's a pretty good drug. It's been tested in stroke and traumatic brain injury, some other animal models, and but we still wanted to improve on this precursor drug. And, so we did more medicinal chemistry and came up with the 147. Yeah.